children welcome back to maths class so in previous class we have completed our first lesson that is numbers up to 1000 now we are moving to our next lesson that is lesson 2 addition okay so what do you mean by addition addition means putting two or more things together is called addition for example i have one unit of building blocks in my one hand and two units in other hand okay and i am going to put these units together so one two three okay so i have put these units together and this process is called adding putting two or more things together is called addition and do you know how we represent the symbol addition the symbol addition is represented by a plus sign this is called a plus sign okay now let's see a simple exercise hmm? 65 plus 75 okay ones place and tens place while adding we add the numbers in ones place first okay so usually we will keep the biggest number in mind and smallest number in hand we are both of same so 5 in mind and 5 in hand okay after 5 6 7 8 9 10 what we got we got the number 10 So what we do is we write the first number over here in ones place, and we will carry over this number to the next place. Okay, we will write zero in ones place and one carried over to the next place. That is tens place. So in tens place, we will add first the carry over number to the first number here six and one. So with the number in mind, six in mind, and one in hand. After six, seven. We got the number seven, and we got the number seven. We have to add this number with this number. So seven in mind and seven in hand. After seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Which number we got? We got the number. Fourteen. Here also we will write four over here, and we will carry over this one to the next place. Which is the next place? Next place is hundreds place. We carry over this one to the hundreds place. Okay. Here we don't have any other numbers, so we will write this carry over number to down, and we got the answer one hundred. Forty. Okay, children. We got the answer as one hundred forty. Here, the number sixty-five and seventy-five are called addends. A D D E N D S. Addends. These numbers are called addends. And the answer we got after adding the addends sixty-five and seventy-five. Is called sum. Okay, these are called addends, and the answer that we got after adding the addends are called is called sum. Okay, now we'll see one more example. This is in your textbook exercise number three. Hmm, have to see. Fifty-nine plus sixty-two. See, first we have to add the numbers in ones place. Bigger number in mind, that is nine in mind, and two in hand. After nine, ten, eleven. We got eleven. What will we do? We we'll write the one over here, the number in ones place here. And the other carry over to the next place. Hmm? Yeah. What is the rule? We have to add the 
carry over number first. So five in mind and one in hand. After five, six. We got the number six. We have to add this six num this number with this number. So six in mind and six in hand. After six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Got the number twelve. Again, what we do? We write the number two over here, and we will carry one to the next place. Which is the next place? Next place is hundreds place. Hmm? In hundreds place, we don't have any other number, so I will write this number. Carry over number down. And I got the answer one hundred twenty-one, and this is called the sum of the addeds. Fifty-nine and sixty-two. Okay. See one more example, children. This step we are keeping the numbers in our mind. Okay. Fifty-seven plus sixty-four. Okay. Here also, first we have to add the number in ones place. Hmm? Seven in mind and four in hand. Why seven is the bigger number? So bigger number in mind, smaller number in hand. Seven is the bigger number, so seven in mind, four in hand. After seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. So we will write one here and we will carry over one over here. Hmm? Then we have to add the carryover number with this number. So five in mind and one in hand. After five, six. That number plus this number. So six in mind and six in hand. After six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got the number twelve. So we will write two over here. And one carry over to the next place, which is the next place, hundreds place, and we don't have any number over here, so I'll write this number down. And I got the answer one hundred twenty-one. The children, by adding the num addends fifty-seven plus sixty-four, I got the sum as one hundred twenty-one. Okay. Hope you understood how to add two numbers. Hmm? We'll see one more example. Eighty-nine plus forty-eight. Okay. Here the bigger number is nine, and the smaller number is eight. We are going to add the number in ones place. So bigger number in mind and smaller number in hand. Okay, so after nine, this is the bigger number. Bigger number nine is in our mind, and eight is in our hand. So after nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. We got the number seventeen, and we have to write seven here and carry over one to next place. We have to add the carryover number with this number. Here eight is the bigger number, so bigger number in mind and smaller number in hand. After eight, nine. We got nine. This number plus this number. Nine in mind and four in hand. After nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We got the number thirteen, and we have to write. The number three here, and we carry over this number to the next place. This is the next place, hundreds place. We don't have any other numbers to add, so we write the carry over number here, and we got the sum as one hundred thirty-seven. So adding the addends eighty-nine plus forty-eight, we got the sum one hundred. Thirty-seven. Okay, children. I hope you have understood the concept of addition. Okay. 
See you in next class. Thank you.